Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I am an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie, and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde JKL. I'm the host of this podcast. I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, botanicals, birds, and whatnot. The tight illustrative hand and watercolor, tin and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. Well, it is Monday again, and this is July the 6th, 2020, and you're listening to the Artist Friends Podcast, episode 53. My name is Clyde J. Kale, and tonight it's just me and Constance. Uh, Diane sent me a message earlier. She may not be able to join us because there's thunderstorms and lightning going on in, in her area of the, of the country, and her lights are blinking going on and off. So uh, if she did join us, she probably wouldn't stay long because her internet wouldn't stay up. So it's just me and Constance. Hello, Constance. Hi, Clyde. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? All right. Welcome to the, to the podcast, Constance. Okay, the recommended videos for last week was just a mixture. The, the theme was uh, I decided on a, as artists, Working artists, we always need to improve, and we always need to uh, keep that in mind. And uh, working at, on our artwork and striving to make our artwork better. So those were kind of like some of the videos uh, that were selected. If you go to www. dot dot com, that's talk art podcast.com you'll see the information link page and it will have the links to the videos and so you can kind of watch and see what we're talking about we're not going to talk about any specific video that much but the theme overall is to uh, concentrate on how to improve our art and one video a gentleman came up with 10 tips to improve your art so i went ahead and printed them out so i got constance i will kind of talk about them Constance, uh, the first one was practice every day. And what do you think about that? Are you practicing? I think that's a great tip, yes. Um, I try to paint every day. I'm, I, I am not always able to paint every day because here on the ranch, things just come up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you have cows, donkeys, guineas, chickens, peacocks, and what else do I have? I don't know, but there's a lot of things out here and things just happen. <laughs> yeah. But I try to carve out some time every day to at least do content on painting or at least paint. Even if it's just a small painting or drawing to at least get in the studio, shut the door and involve myself in my work. So yeah. yes, it's a I, great I, thing to do i'm not that good at it uh i'll i'll admit i don't draw like i i should be i i bought a sketchbook about i don't know a couple of years ago and i think i got one page filled 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm, but it's not that I don't believe it. No, it's, it's very important. And I know that if I could force myself to draw or to paint every day, uh, maybe uh, I would probably, you know, improve substantially. Okay. Item number two was study from references. And what he's talking about is uh, use some people try to like, uh, like the, the gentleman on the video, he was more, his talk was more geared more toward illustrators. So, uh, you know, people, they try to, you know, imagination, you know, they try to draw some of an imagination. And what his emphasis was, was use reference material. You know, you, you're trying to do some flowers or birds or whatever and uh, study from reference material or study from life. Constance, you agree with that? Yes, there's plenty of reference material everywhere. It depends on what you want to learn. Um, if you want to learn just whatever, flowers, people. Yep, we have I mean, the internet, the internet there, fingertips. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, if you got a hand in front of you and a pencil and a piece of paper, dry your hand <laughs> if you, or your fingernail or, or just anything, you know. Um, and this segue fine. segues into uh, item number three: have the right mindset. Exactly. You, mm -hmm. you know, you've got to have in your mind that uh, this is improving. You're not trying to create a masterpiece. You're just doing a little sketch or doing a little painting here to push some paint around and try try to color into, uh, you know, to uh, try something different. You know, and uh, you're trying. And you're, you're training your brain. That goes back yeah. to practice. You know, like people uh, who are into uh, physical fitness a lot and the body lifters and runners and, and bicyclers, you know, they're out there every day, you know, and they're exercising those muscles. Well, your brain is a muscle, you know, and, and so when you practice and you, when you, and you study for your reference and you have that, have that mindset that you're, you're exercising your brain, you know, and I don't know. Yeah. Item number four was self-awareness, and that's what that is, being self-aware. That you, know, you, uh, you are not the world's greatest artist yet. I like to think so, so sometimes, yeah. Hey, and uh, it will never happen if you never try. You've yeah. got to try. Yeah. Get, a self, get yourself a Ticonderoga number two pencil. <laughs> got a point on one end. Got an eraser on the other end. Get a little inexpensive sketchbook. And make a little drawing in it every day. And when you look at the first sketch and you go to the back of the book and look at the last sketch, there should be an improvement of some sort, hopefully, <laughs> if nothing else, you know. But do something in it every day, even if you just do tic-tac-toe in it every day. <laughs> and then number five, this is one that I follow. It says, find better artists and learn from them. That's yeah. why every week I meet with Diane and I meet with Constance because I personally think they are better artists than me and we exchange ideals and in, in between our conversations about chickens and goats and whatnot, then we, <laughs> we, we, we talk about, uh, you know, artist material, and what material works better, you know, than others. And I have learned so much from these two. It's been incredible. I mean, I have seen a definite improvement improvement in my art because of my association with diane and constance you know and, and that's why i always think and i thank constance for uh you know showing up here every week you know and uh, we uh so we can we can talk about our art what about you constance you uh, agree with that yeah we all learn from each other that's how how we just you know that's how you learn is you just keep in touch with yourself with other people and and it helps you keep your foot in the door, you know, to, uh, ex expand, expand yourself. And that's like that short video of, of Sergio Gomez that I put up that's on, in the link. He talked about, it says, uh, having your, a tribe, your tribe or your community. And that's what this is about. You know? Yeah. And, this is our tribe, you know? Absolutely. You know? And, uh, so we, and there's always an open invitation to any of our listeners. Uh, that's our, right. Join our tribe if you want to. Yes. We'll be glad to have you. Want to come in for a one-time meeting? Feel free. You know, just uh, 
We know. won't bite your head off. I promise. I, I always, <laughs> send the email what we do is you know we meet in zoom video because i i feel uh facial express there's more communications done with facial expressions than just talking on the phone but then we just record a portion of the meeting not even our entire meeting because we meet for about an hour sometimes sometimes two hours oh my god one night we went on and on and on didn't we <laughs> <laughs> we do sometimes yeah <laughs> But then we only record about uh, twenty to thirty minutes or so for the for the actual podcast with a little bit of structure in it. Okay, item number six: show your art off, and that's yeah. by entering exhibitions, by entering contests, by posting on social media. And for some artists, that is really scary. Yeah, you know, yeah, it is. I have talked to young artists, you know, exchanged messages on on uh, Facebook and. Well, I'm not good enough yet. Well, what do you mean? You don't know that. Yeah, you don't know that until you try. You don't know that. Yeah. And that's so you've got to get over that that uh, inhibition, you know. Mm -hmm. Show your art off. Show your art to the world. You have to, really, if you want to achieve and you want to advance. And number item number seven was don't burn out. Okay. Right. That gets to, you know, if you're really working hard and trying to do it from number one through number six, you might get burned out. So do go down and do those items if you can, but don't let it be the death nail. Don't let it be, oh, my God, I've, I've got to do this drawing today. i got to do this painting today. And then when you don't accomplish it, you get all depressed, and then you don't do anything. That's called right. burnout. Don't get yourself burned out, you know, and which leads right into keep your expectations in check. That's number eight. You know, and, um, uh, hey, we tell you in our contest, we tell you, we tell you, show your work off. But if you don't get any reply, okay, you put it out there. So what? That doesn't mean somebody didn't see it. They probably just didn't get an opportunity to uh, reply to you, you know, or, or click on a like, you know. So don't be addicted to that. You know, the point is, if you keep putting your work out there, that's showing people that you are an active working artist and that you are serious about your career and you are serious about being an artist. And that's, you are going to hear crickets for a while. Yeah. <laughs> that's just how it is. Eventually you're going to hear something besides crickets. <laughs> yeah. Salutations and, and encouragement, encouragement, you know, so you just got to keep, you know, keep at it. And uh, number nine was work on projects. And I thought that was interesting. Because um, I need to follow that and get back into that. And I'll tell you, tell you why, Constance. Uh, what was it, last year or maybe a year ago? You know, I did my, I called them, called them uh, uh, junk car series. You know, I did several, several watercolors of those. And then I went on to junk boats, you know, wrecked boats, you know. Mm -hmm. And what that gave, that was a project, you know, of, and I, you know, I limited it to maybe 12 or 13, but I could have just, kept on going because there's no fast rule you know mm -hmm. but it was an actual project you know to to do a, you know a series and since then i've been just kind of jumping around doing a, you know doing a painting or whatever what the what's been going on in the world if that motivates me or depresses me and i end up trying to do a painting to lift my soul but which is which is you know that's okay but i think if i got come back with more of a uh uh, like a series or a a certain uh, you know project of several paintings or illustrations together, and like my graphic novel, that was a project, you know. And I need to I need to do some more. I mean, why can't I? You know, it's just a matter of applying myself. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think you need to do some more graphic novels myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, and then the la the last item was uh number 10 and he says uh compete and that's where we talk about um entering in exhibitions and entering contests and that will uh you know you may not get accepted but but don't go over you know don't go nuts i mean you know pick two or three that you're interested in you know on a monthly basis and enter them enter your work in them and uh that will help you uh, improve because, and that falls in line with what I, you know, follow the philosophy of Stefan Bauman. 
of um, enter a contest for the purpose of improving your artwork, look at the previous winners, and then create something for the contest, uh, specifically for that specific contest. Com you know, create a piece of artwork for that specific contest. And if you win something, then that's a good pat on the back that, uh, hey, but if you don't, just go on to the next one and continue doing that, and you will substantially improve your artwork. Do you agree, Constance? Yeah, I need to do more of, the, more of that myself. I, I don't enter contests, and I need to, do, I need to enter contests. Absolutely, so. yeah. Hey, the quality of your work is there. I don't know why you're not doing it, Constance. <laughs> I just don't take the time out to do it, you know. I need to, to do it. That's what this is all about, folks. See, we're we're practicing working our Yeah. Colin this is what why we're we're a tribe because we call each other accountable for things that we need to do. And that's Absolutely that's why we're we meet up so we can help help each other do things we, we're supposed to be even, doing. We've even uh, jumped ahead something that, uh, you know, if, if uh, our listeners recall previous podcasts, we had a guest artist, uh, Kelly Folsom, and she uh, teaches a course and a whole series of courses, actually, and with uh, uh, instructing the professional artists and the old master's technique. And uh, she had a special running. And she, her course only has an open period. It only opens like on a quarterly basis. When she takes into so many you know, artists, we do it all online. And uh, Constance and I both have uh, joined Kelly Folsom, and we are already learning stuff. It's incredible. So a big hundred uh, percent uh, bravo and support for uh, Kelly Kelly Folsom's uh, you know art art courses and. Uh, I'll probably post some more information about that on the, uh, we've posted the links before, but, but, uh, this period is closing, but she'll have one opening up here in the, in the next quarter. So, uh, folks can get, can get involved and see, uh, you know, what's about plus Constance and I both Constance and I both are posting the work cause our, what's called our lesson paintings. We're putting them on our Facebook pages. So, uh, I've already done two and, Constance says she's done one or two, so. I've done one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's it's all about improving improving our artwork and everything. Okay. Well, listen, folks, you have been you have been listening to the Artist Friends Podcast, episode 53 for July the 6th, 2020. And I've been visiting here with Constance Bronson, my best artist friend, and my name is Clyde J. Kale, and we will be back next week with Diane. If there's no thunderstorms in her area, poor Diane, she's probably sitting in the dark right now. Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> she's got candles. She told me that. Oh, good. <laughs> and wherever you listen to this podcast from, please give us a good rating. Give us some stars. Give us some thumb, thumbs up. Let us know you like what you hear. Bye-bye, Constance. Good night, Clyde. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye, folks. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constance Bronson and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www dianehuntstudio.com Constance Bronson at www.edsy.com forward slash shop forward slash c-b-r-o-s-n-a-n-s Clyde J. Kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com If you would like to participate or appear as a guest on the Artist Friends Podcast, please email cjkl at sign mystery-otr.com. If you enjoy these podcasts, please give us a thumbs up or a star rating. And most of all, send us your comments. This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license.